Hi, everybody. I'm Betty Lansford. I want to welcome you back to uh, sharing the, the the Power of Prayer series. <laughs> we'll get that out in a minute. This is lesson two. Um, I hope everyone's doing well today. I sure do. Um, I would like to talk to you a lesson about um, Elisha in 2 Kings chapter 6, 1 through 7. You know, Elisha, um, he, he performed 17 miracles that were recorded. And, and, um, and I want to talk to you about one of them in particular that really made a difference in my life. Um, and it was about an axe head. <laughs> uh, Elisha was over a uh, school of prophets. And where they were meeting at... Uh, it was, it was getting small, and so they wanted to enlarge the building, and they worked out a way and, and uh, sent some out to chop down trees and to get the lumber and so forth. Well, one of the young men um, borrowed an axe head. Obviously, he didn't have his own. He borrowed it, and uh, <clears throat> he was out there chopping on this tree, and when he was chopping on it, the axe head came loose from the handle and it flew out into the water, into the Jordan River. And the Jordan River is, back then it was very deep and it was very swift. And it landed in that water. The young man was devastated. He had borrowed that axe and... Um, if you've ever borrowed anything and um, anything happens to whatever it is you've borrowed, you're, re you're responsible for, for giving it back, hopefully in the same condition you borrowed it uh, with. And that young man, I'm sure he, he was really, I was sure he was really upset. And he called out to Elisha and, and told, you know, told him what happened. And Elisha asking where it landed, and, and the young man told him. And Elisha did a strange thing. He just cut down off a, a, a branch, a twig, a stick, whatever. And he asked him where it landed, and, and the young man showed him. And Elisha cast that stick out into the water. And a miraculous thing happened. The axe had floated to the top. Iron does not float. It does not float. But then something else happened. It swam. It didn't just float. It swam. Obviously, it swam to the shore because Elisha asked the young man or told him, pick it up. Obviously, it swam to the shore. It kind of makes me think that. And the young man picked it up. Can you imagine how elated he was? I get so excited talking about that scripture because it 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 played a big part in in our life, and I'll I, I'll tell you part of it. A situation had came up that um, my husband and I, um, I guess you could say, we weren't involved in it. Just was was part of our life. I guess you could say there wasn't anything we could do to help the situation. Um, have you ever been in a situation where there was nothing you could do? Um, it seemed like everything you you thought or tried to do just didn't work. Uh, there wasn't enough money that we would have had that could have made a difference. Um, anything we did didn't make a difference. We had been living for God long enough to know that if anything was beyond us working out, we could go to the Word of God, whether it be in prayer or His Word, which we did both. <laughs> and we did. We prayed. We prayed to the Lord. And I want to read you some two scriptures, as a matter of fact. Psalms 
34, 15 said, The eyes of the Lord are upon the righteous, and his ears are open unto their cry. 1 Peter 3 and 12 says almost the same thing. For the eyes of the Lord are over the righteous, and his ears are open unto their prayers. But the face of the Lord is against them that do evil. Well, we knew, we knew the Lord would be on our side. We didn't know how he was going to handle it, but we knew he was going to be on our side. But you know, when, when, when you have a situation that comes against you, sometimes um, it, it can do havoc with your mind when, when everything just seems impossible. So we went to the Word of God to get a scripture that would help us to keep the faith. Well, the scripture we went to was in 2 Kings 6, 1 through 7. Where else could you find a faith-moving scripture where it talks about an axe head floating? That's pretty miraculous. Ron and I could have been across the room. In fact, we did this a couple of times. We could be across the room from each other and things would come up in a negative way talking about the situation. And we would make eye contact and we would think the axe head swims. That did wonders for our faith, wonders for our faith. And it turned out that the situation worked out in our, in our favor. You know, it, it, maybe it could have went the other way. We, we don't know. It didn't, praise God. But it, it could have. But the most important thing was, is during the whole time, our faith was kept up. We worshiped God. We didn't let the negative become a part of our negative. It, it did not cause negativity. We kept the faith. We kept the faith. And that, to me, that to me was, um, I think, the most important thing. In whatever it is in our life that may come against us, if we can keep the faith and walk a walk that will glorify God, then we've done something wonderful. So I pray for you that that this scripture may have done something to minister to you that will give you um, encouragement and help you along the way. The Bible study is not going to be very long today. I'm going to end it right now. But I want us to pray. <clears throat> and I want the Lord to do a work in your life um, as he's done in ours. <clears throat> but let's go to the word of God now. Okay. Lord, I thank you and I praise you for who you are, God. You are holy, God. You are a wonderful God. You're righteous. And I thank you, Father, for being a part of our life. I thank you, Lord, that you're moving in each of our lives, Lord. Oftentimes when we don't even realize that you're there for us. Just like the young man that needed that axe head, Lord, it was so important to him. And you made a way. You provided it for him, God. And you're going to provide for us, God. You said you wouldn't leave us or forsake us, Lord. And I thank you for that promise. God, I, I just ask you, Lord, that uh, any confusion, Lord, will be bound in Jesus' name, Lord. And if it tries to derail us or, or cause us to lose clarity of mind, in Jesus' name, Lord, I ask you to help us with that. Lord, I pray that every missing and sunken axe head that comes up in our life, in the name of Jesus, that it will rise again and swim in Jesus' name, these things I pray. Glory, hallelujah. Well, I pray y'all have a good day, what's left of it. And I pray something that I said will minister to you and help you along the way will be an encourager. And I pray for you and, and you pray for me. Y'all have a good day.
and God bless you.